Okay, today I'm going to be putting a snowball in my hydraulic press to try to make a sheet of thin ice. So water has an interesting property that when you increase the pressure when it's in the solid state, it turns back into the liquid state. And then if you release that pressure, then it turns back into the solid state again. Okay, to show you what I mean, I have some wire attached to some weights here. I'm gonna set it on my piece of ice. Okay, so what's happening here is the wire's putting a lot of pressure right in the center here and it's melting the ice, but the ice is still at freezing. And so as soon as it, the wire cuts past it, then it freezes back together. So the goal here is to get the wire to cut through the piece of ice and then you still have a whole piece of ice at the end. Okay, so here's a front view. Let's speed it up and watch the wire cut through the ice. So even though this method is taught a lot as explaining how you can put pressure on ice to melt it, this is actually a bad example of pressure melting ice because the pressure put on the ice from the wire is actually not great enough to melt it most likely. And it's actually just melting probably from the heat of the wires and the weights on it. But I do have a better way to do it with a lot more pressure and that's in my hydraulic press. So in the hydraulic press, there will be some heat from the press itself, but there should be enough pressure to actually melt the ice due to pressure itself and not just heat. Okay, snow crushed by a hydraulic press. Three, two, one. Okay, so now we have a continuous piece of ice from the snow. <laughs> so what happened there is the snow is a bunch of little pieces of solid ice, but when we put pressure on it, then it turned it back into the liquid state. But when we released the pressure, it was still below freezing, so it all froze again back into a solid state. So now we have a nice sheet of ice. Pretty cool. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode. If you want to comment in the comments section, you can let me know what you want to see get crushed next time or what you want to see me put in my vacuum chamber. And I have a lot of cool ideas coming up for some other ways to destroy stuff, so stay tuned. I'll see you next time.